In July of 2011, Adbusters Magazine, an international culture jamming operation based in Canada, published this ad, calling for an occupation of Wall Street. The ad functioned as a thought experiment, asking its readers to imagine novel action, to think big, to consider the feasibility of occupying public space for an extended period of time. The target would not be the political system directly, but the economic. In particular, the financial system, which was responsible not only for the 2008 economic collapse, but for a 30-year trend of increasing wealth stratification. Through its capacity to influence the political system through lobbying, campaign spending, political action committees, and other vehicles of legalized bribery, concentrated capital has led a steady wave of deregulation, privatization, offshoring, state subsidy, and tax evasion, not only for the financial system, but for the multinational corporate system as a whole. We have witnessed over the last 30 years the most massive wealth transfer from the population into elite hands in the history of the world. Many, at least within the United States, had put their hopes into the 2008 presidential campaign of Barack Obama, only to see their hopes dashed when he appointed to his economic team people like Larry Summers, Ben Bernanke, Tim Geithner, Longtime Wall Street insiders, many of us felt that these men should be prosecuted for leading the collapse of the financial sector, not tasked with repairing it. As the refrain goes amongst protesters in the Occupy movement, banks got bailed out, we got sold out. The dominant political configuration, the two-party system, was captured by finance capital. Both parties were bereft of ideas. Under these conditions, resistance became imperative. Operating outside of traditional political structure, activists required a place to come together, to discuss ideas, to formulate plans. With the commitment to radical democracy and equal voice among participants, general assemblies were held, committees formed, occupations initiated. Looking to Tahrir Square in Egypt, the Indignados movement in Spain, and the anti-austerity movement in Greece for motivation, Occupations began to spring up all over the country in solidarity with Occupy Wall Street. This is the story of one such occupation, Occupy Los Angeles. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm here like a lot of folks, basically uh, tired of corporations influencing our government to the point where all of our rights are being taken away and I feel like we're slowly going down that road to corporate slavery and I don't want that. I want a free nation where I can live my life the way I want, I can make money the way I want, um, and other people around me can live and prosper and have fulfilling lives. We are the 99% How long are you going to stay here? How long am I going to stay here? I work full time, so I'm going to stay the weekend and then I'm going to come every day if I can. I've been going to General Assembly. Can't actually occupy, but my contract's up in December. So, we'll see. so what brings you out here today? What the sign says, I'm a struggling student from a poor Latino family. Every year our, our tuition is being raised up and it's very hard for, you know, my fa I'm on my own. My family can't help me. I've been looking for a job for two years. I've been unemployed. I, it, it's really hard to you know, get my bachelor's degree to be the first one in my family to get a degree with everyone making it so hard for me. I just want a career with everyone wants. I got my master's degree about two years ago. Uh, my field was very highly impacted, especially by the California State University budgetary problems. Um, completely unable to find a job in my field, pretty much experiencing the same things, um, unable to pay on my student debt been unemployed for two years, so I'm just here to fight for everyone who's going through something similar. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Short man. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right on. Uh, 100 years too late, but uh, <laughs> always after the debt, it was all over. <laughs>
Um, <clears throat> well, uh, my name is Brian. Hey, uh, Brian. The IWW uh, volunteer here in LA, and basically the reason that I'm here today is because this movement looks a lot like the way I would like to see people administer their own workplaces and neighborhoods. You know, democratic, general assembly. Participatory democracy. Cult. Yeah. Participatory democracy. Mm -hmm. Absolute horizontalism. No yep. parties. No nonsense about trying to take the state. It's it's really about people relating better, taking care of each other, taking responsibility for their lives and their communities and their workplaces. And that, great. That'll be great when that happens. Wonderful. Thank you. What's up?